I fucking hate you. Oh. So because of those quite handsome uh, why did I call them handsome? Whatever. <laughs> because 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 of those fucking donuts that you posted. Mm-hmm. And because I had such a good experience with uh with my thang yesterday, I'm like, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna double dip on my thang. So I got another one. Except I didn't. It was completely different compared to my first one. You disgust me. I gotta go. I gotta go get rid of the rest of my dinner real quick. Then we can start. Oh my god! Is that a cherry? Yeah. Uh, yes. Is that a McChicken? Now you might be wondering. PM, is that a McChicken? <laughs> PM, I hate and I this. go, yes, because when I went to McDonald's, they went, "Oh, we're at a quarter pounder meat," and I'm like, "What?" It's two in the afternoon. How are you out of fucking quarter pounder meat? And they're like, uh, you want a McDouble? And I'm like, fuck no, I don't want a fucking McDouble. You fucking, don't want a Grookey? Yeah, I, just give me a fucking, give me a McChicken with cheese. <gasps> I created a monster. Sure it tasted like. like one too. And I again wonder why we're doing food challenges. It's not meant to be a food challenge. This Isn't it actually though? good? No, because it's actually good. Right? I mean, I enjoyed my first one. This second one's a little debatable because of the way I'm feeling right now. I mean, yeah, it was fine, but like... You you expected it to be a food challenge. <laughs> no, in fact, I... Because last week's was so terrible... I went. Let's let's treat ourselves. Everybody likes uh, donuts What's for up? the most part. People enjoy uh, the quarter pounder for the most part, out of out of the general consensus. So I'm like, let's let's treat ourselves, but let's make it interesting. What happened? Uh, I posted more stuff in a boardwalk. Is what happened. Oh, you did. Oh wow, look at that. You fat whore. That looks good. Damn. I'm working on it. It 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 looks, mm, yeah. Oh well, I mean, I guess we'll get into it. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another exciting episode of Dip. Sh- we didn't do a clap sync. Hold on. I was <laughs> literally just about to say, "Where's my clap sync?" Are we all ready? Are we all recording? We're all good. Yes. Yes. Should shouldn't we be in the recording channel? Oh shit! I thought we were. <laughs> Let's go. <sighs> <laughs> I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I completely forgot that there's a channel labeled recording. Hi hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Dipships, the legitimate booting podcast. Are you okay? I am your host, Glamity Carl. Joining <laughs> it me. It doesn't sound like it. <laughs> right, buddy? Jip hip him. The howdy. Gorbin. Are you okay? And Maddie. Are we in an episode of South Park all of a sudden? Is how you guys doing? How's everything going? I feel like shit. Big mood, buddy. Jordan, I'm gonna need you to do me a really big favor. What's that? Don't fucking type anything. <laughs> Stay static and still for the entire podcast. You're Reaper, only allowed shut to move up. closer. You. You're only allowed to move to get closer to your mic, and that's it. No snapping, no playing with coins, no eating ice, well, the, no, the snapping, no whatever the you snapping, fucking do. The snapping is fine because he's doing it to his dogs. That's that's understandable. That's something that he, you know, he's got to get their attention and get them to stop barking. I don't have an issue with that. But there's I mean, there's moments when I'm editing where there's just minutes of silence from Jordan. And all I hear is him on his keyboard. And I'm like, oh my God. Okay, but think about this. Uh-huh. I have the sure now. Maybe yeah. it doesn't pick up. I literally heard it while you were typing a couple seconds ago. 
Oh. <laughs> I hear I hear it too when I type. Don't worry, keyboards are just fucking loud. That's just that's just how they be. That's why my first my first note for the week was who is Jordan typing to? Because <laughs> I was just editing earlier and I was like, who, who the is fuck she? is he always typing to all the time? Are you playing fourteen, Jordan? No, not even logged in. Log in these nuts and they're yeah. Who wants to go first with their week? Not it. I'm recovering from from this disaster that I had. Okay. Again, whose fault is that? <laughs> Look, the first one was good. And then <laughs> and then I wanted to recapture the magic, but then all of a sudden all everything went wrong. <laughs> Fuck it, I'm going first. <laughs> <laughs> so, wait, actually no, I can't go first cuz my thing involves fucking cheat meal and and fucking uh, dip chips. So never mind, I'm not going first. Oh, you're so stupid. I hate you. All right, I'll fine. Go I'll go first. first. I'll go first. No, I'm, no, 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 I'm, I'm go going first. I'm, I'm going, going first. No, I'm going first. Look, I only have one thing to talk about. I continued Fire Force Season 2. All of my complaints still stand. Mm -hmm. What um, happened to the Nuzlocke? Oh, right. Yes, the Nuzlocke. Um, all we'll right, get to I'll that. Talk go, to, that go, to see, go to talk about the rest of Fire Force and then get to the Nuzlocke bit. Uh, okay, uh, it vastly improved. Um... A, a lot of cool shit was happening. As soon as we turned away from, like, the main character and, like, some of the supporting cast and went to the cool motherfuckers, mainly Be uh, Benny Maru and, uh, what's his name, Joker, uh, the, the show became amazing. Yeah. Everything to do with the setting of Fire Force, like, its world and its lore, is stellar. It's, it's, it's fantastic. It's just when we get to characters, it's very hit or miss. To me, the main character... Is still somewhere in the middle because he he does cool things, but his personality is kind of not for me. I'm not a fan. And the same goes with some, um, well, most of the supporting cast. There are cool characters. Like, Obi is still my favorite character. He's literally the Batman of the universe, has no powers, but he makes do. Why? He lifts weights. That's how he makes do. He's just very strong. I love I love him so much. Uh yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much the only thing that I've watched this week. Uh, I'm still not done. I'm like halfway through the season right now. Um so, the Nuzlocke. So, uh, a couple of days ago, beginning of the week, uh Casey messages uh, messages me going uh hey, so you didn't send me the right uh file. Of, uh, of the last session of the Nuzlocke, you, you sent me session two again. Could you send me session three? I'm like, yeah, sure, no problem. Uh, I go to upload session three, and I went, I cannot find session three. And I went, uh-oh. Uh, so, so here's the thing. We recorded session three, like, mid to early December. It is now, like... We are now midway midway through January. I may have deleted that file. Yeah. Uh, and I tried to get it back. I tried installing like uh, two different softwares to like, can I bring back? And, and, and here's, okay, here's the fucked up thing about me deleting the file. Mm -hmm. So w whenever I record anything, whether it's dipships, whether it's a Nuzlocke, anything that gets recorded on my end stays on my desktop until I feel like it it is safe to remove it. And even then, it just sits in the recycling bin for weeks until I decide to empty it. So, like a week prior, I'm like, Casey's probably uh, edited uh, this session of the Nuzlocke. Let me go ahead and throw it in the recycling bin. And it stayed there for over a week. One day, out of sheer boredom, looking for things to do on my PC, I empty my recycling bin. Later that day, KZ messages me, hey, you sent me the wrong file, yada, yada, yada. And the rest is history. Uh, so, yeah, I desperately tried to um, to get the file back with no success. Uh, so there is a good... It was a, a short session. Like, it didn't even hit two hours. So it must have been, like, three parts worth of, uh, of the Nuzlocke. But uh, still, that has gone to the ether. Wasn't and it's much at, story progression, at least. Uh, we, I somehow, despite it being less than two hours, that was one of the most productive sessions we ever have done. Oh my God. We did, we did three gyms in in those uh, less than two hours. What? 
So okay. that all of that is just gone. You was Pokemon three that, gyms worth. It was three gyms worth. Get him! Get him! He lost the Nuzlocke. Here come the police. You see, if I don't talk, the sirens don't pick up. But I have to talk because I'm in the middle of a fucking podcast. <laughs> God fucking damn it. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so, like, not a ton, but Pokemon did die. Um, spoilers, Egg is dead. No! Egg! Egg, yeah. Uh, our, our our starter, Egg, uh, is dead. Uh, so our new starter now is Boo. And will be Boo until the... You will make sure Boo survives. Well, well, you'll see. I'll 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 just say you'll see because I'm not going to spoil what happens in this uh, in this upcoming session. Um, other than fuck Alto, Alto's the worst. I fucking hate Alto. That's mean. That's our friend, and you're saying such mean things about our friend. He's your friend, not my friend. Oh well, that's fucked up even more. They're just purple. That just bitch purple. is in fact bitch purple. purple. Don't add an egg to my fucking inventory. <laughs> God fucking damn it. Um Would you like an egg in this trying time? Would you? No. I'm I'm good. With the way I feel, if I have eggs, it might make it worse. I don't know what these PFTs are gonna sound like later. Because I feel a storm <laughs> brewing and Oof. it's either it's either gonna be like a dust storm or 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 like fucking torrential tribute is gonna happen in my pants <laughs> at some point. Uh either way, you'll find out about it. Maybe live on the podcast. I don't know. PM, I think so, I think I remembered context behind the egg bit. Oh, really? Because well, I was I'm done with what with my week. So uh, go ahead. I I remember I was in a call with ours and die, and we were mm. waiting on shore. This is when we were doing all the stuff in Halloween, the like phasmophobia and Left for Dead. Yeah, yeah. And we were just started mentioning eggs to each other. We were just going egg, egg back to back and forth. Mm -hmm. And then I added one of them and said, "Egg added to your inventory." That's it. That's it, huh? But the action, but I, it came to mind because I had just watched a Delta Rune video mm -hmm. where they show like the the secret room with the tree in it, and you talk to a guy behind it, and he gives you an egg, and it says an egg has been added to your inventory. Oh, so that was fresh in my mind. Now I remember. Now there was a reason why I started the bit. All right. Uh, now now that I understand the reason. It still doesn't make it any better. <laughs> it, you know what? It no, in fact it really makes it worse. it worse. Because, it really because the context in which it comes from is just boring and lame yeah, and it's shitty. Really like, who, it's like Delta Rune, okay, and a fucking bit you did with <laughs> with, with uh, some fucking VTubers. Like, okay, cool, thanks, thanks, dude, awesome. You somehow made the bit worse. It's <laughs> you've ruined it. That there was an air of mystery to the bit, and now that I now that the mystery's been solved, I don't care. And now it's just bad. Now just stop doing it. You're welcome. I'm gonna continue doing it and even yeah, more now. Mm -hmm. Egg. Just for you, PM. So I shit myself this week. Nice. Awesome. Now this is the content I live for. <laughs> I uh went to take out some chopped meat yesterday. Uh-huh. And uh it was it was sitting in the freezer for a while. I kept asking my mom, like, this chopped meat's fine still, right? She's like, Yeah, it should be good. That's not a yes, mother, but alright. So I took it out to defrost it. There there's something specific about mothers I want to touch on real quick. It doesn't it seems like because my mother th does the exact same thing. It doesn't matter how long something's been in the freezer. It's always good. It could have been there for fucking years. Yeah, it's it's always going to be good. Yeah, it's always going to be good. Things don't go bad in the freezer. No, no, no. preposterous. It's impossible. No. It's like I took out a ham steak that was in there. It had big green chunks on it. And I was like, uh -huh. I think this should go in the garbage. She went, oh, no, check the date. <laughs> what do you mean? It's it's growing green. I, I need to know if this is just like an immigrant parent thing. Have your parents, specific, specifically your mothers, ever put bread in the freezer? No. Yes. No. Okay. Uh, because mine always does that. And I, ha I hate fucking frozen bread. Like, it, it, it doesn't it matter if it went in there fresh. You, you can taste the freezer in it. Uh. Yep. And it tastes disgusting. It ruins whatever you're making with that bread. Absolute garbage. Yep. I, I'm, I'm glad I'm not the only one on that. I've, I've never experienced that in my life. I'm sorry but that you had to go But my mom's not that. an immigrant. She's just crazy. Okay, I didn't know if it was a, an immigrant-only thing, so... That's well, no. No, just, so, just psychopath thing. So mm -hmm. I took this meat out to defrost it. 
sat out for a bit and I kept looking at it passing by and I was like, is this like rotted? It was like brown in some spots, but not like cooked brown, like grody yeah, yeah, brown. Like, yeah, grody, exactly. That's and like the the, the the not blood juice that's in the meat is just like mm -hmm. browned a bit. And it was really gross. And I was looking at him like, I called my mom and was like, I think this shit's expired. I think it's like spoiled. And she's like, well, crack the bag open, smell it. Awful, awful yeah. experience. Mm hmm. Yep. <clears throat> so I was like, all right, well, I'll, you know, fucking get that. I'll get rid of that. I'll put it in a bag and whatever. And I went to, no, I threw it out. No, I didn't throw it out. I put it in a bag. I put it in the fridge. I went, this sucks. Oh, I have some frozen shit. I'll just heat that up. So I took out the bag of uh, Tostinos that I have. The Totinos, the pizza rolls. Yeah, yeah. Pizza rolls. Totinos. <laughs> and I, you know, the bags aren't resealable. You just got to fucking cut the top. So I went to go get a a, a zip, a big enough Ziploc bag to fit that bag in. And I bent down and I felt a fart and I trusted it. And I should not so have you trusted. Never, never, never trust never a fart. fart. Never when you're bending down. Exactly. I was just about to say exclusively, like when you're bending over and you feel that, never trust it. It's, it's great because always... I, didn't, I didn't even feel the need to shit. I was just mm -hmm. like, all right, so it's just a little toot because I've been tooting all day. Yeah. So I just bent and I went to go and I just felt just like wet. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, and I immediately ran into the bathroom and ripped my pants off and chucked my underwear into the fucking, not the sink, the uh, the bathtub. And yeah, I had to sit there and wash it out. It was awful. One of the worst experiences of my life. So nice. proud of you. It's, it's it's actually it's not the worst experience of my life. It's better than when I shit myself at work and had to work with uh, some wet wipes. And it went all down my leg. That one was that one was significantly worse. Oh boy. It still sucks. At least, at least you're not like me where you have to like shove like a toilet paper tampon in between your cheeks on, on days that you're sick but still need to go to work. So it's like, oh, don't pen down too fast. Oh, don't blink too hard, or else you're gonna end up shitting yourself. Hey, have you guys seen that there's new Uno cards? I did. I have not. Because that was something I wanted to touch on. Okay, so I'm not. I'm not even going to post it yet. I want. I'm going to tell you all in reverse order the, the 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 brand new Uno cards introduced in 2022. Okay. They are all wild cards. Oh, okay. So they can be played at any time. Mm -hmm. Starting from uh least worst to the worst. The wild reverse. Okay. Yeah. It makes sense. Yeah. The wild skip. Mm, okay. Yeah, oh. that's that's still fine. Also makes sense. Yeah, the wild double skip. Whoa. So it skips two people. Skips two ahead. people. Oh, okay. Hate that. Mm -hmm. And you change the color. Oh, fuck yeah. that. All right. Uh, the wild swap hands. That's official well, now. They're just turning this into fucking uh, DLC Uno. Yeah. And the worst one of them all, actually. The wild target plus two. Oh, oh no. Just I don't like that. Just throw that down whoever you want. Plus two to your hand, idiot. <laughs> no, I wonder if I you can oh, then well, can, can you he... still counter that with like a vanilla plus two? That's what I want to know. I, I hope they put that in the rules. That's fucking crazy. Because if you target the person in front of you, but you have a plus two in your hand, does it just go to the person on your fucking left or right? Uno That'd has existed cool. for so long, and now they're just mm -hmm. like, here's like five new cards. They're all wild cards. Have fun. It, I hope they do, because that could mean, let's say the rotation is going... That's hot garbage. Let's say the rotation is going clockwise, and you give it to the person on your right. If they have a plus two, that goes straight back to you. That's fucking That's awesome. crazy. I love it. It sucks. It's the worst. I wonder if they'll somehow incorporate that into fucking into the actual Uno game. Get to it, Ubisoft. Ubisoft. Go on, Ubi. Ubi, so, please. So this this is something that happened a, a a while ago, actually, but I keep remembering it. It keeps like it's just stayed in my head. I had a dream one night that I was in my grandma's old backyard, okay. in her old place. And I was with a bunch of people. I don't even remember fucking who. I think Mehdi was there. I think Mehdi and Shibuya are the two that I remember the most who were there. Nice. And we went into their old garage, but it was like different inside. 
Mm. It was like in a completely different abandoned shed. And in the back on a bunch of shelves were a bunch of common Rider things. And we're all sitting there marking out, freaking out like, holy shit, look at all this Rider stuff. God damn. Grandma's cool as shit. <laughs> we just grabbed a bunch of bags, just started filling bags with stuff. We we're like, I want this one. Hell yeah. All right, so so you just start stealing oh, from start your grandparents. <laughs> no, it was like it, it was like abandoned. It was like no one had been there. It's just been stuff left there. Okay. The common riders themselves left the crap. So uh, there was someone there who was talking to us about something or other, and then a bunch of monsters attacked. So we were like, "Fuck it, let's transform," and we just slapped them on. Now I want the three of you to guess, knowing how much I love common rider, which one I picked to transform into. Oh, dude, probably uh, maybe one from Deno. Nope. That's my guess. Well, that's that's all I know. Then. Knowing how dreams work, the one you hate the most. Which one would that be? Uh, Some from Wizard. Or um, Drive. No, I like no, Drive. No. Yeah, yeah. No, probably. x I don't know. Probably Wizard or the Racist. Uh, no to both. Decade. No, Jordan. Damn it. Would you turn uh, into Jordan? Ghost. Ghost. Not ghost. Instead of like Gaim, like one that I I, I adore and love. Mm -hmm. All I right, turned... I, I can't believe I didn't say Gaim. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised no one did. What the fuck? Oh, I was right. It was one you don't like. <laughs> the fuck you. Uh, I instead turned into Ryuki. Okay. I've never heard you ever talk about Ryuki. <laughs> like, ever. I watched Ryuki a while ago, and I uh -huh. fucking love Ryuki. Okay. It's a good series. The main character has, uh... He peeks the microphone constantly, intentionally. <laughs> it's really funny. I like, forgot to post this. Literally, here. on purpose, he's constantly peeking the microphone. <clears throat> I, 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 It just caught me off guard. I was just like, what the fuck? Like, of all of them, Ryuki... But I guess that just shows how much I actually ended up liking the show because it was it was really fucking good. I love the lawyer; he's my favorite. What did uh, what did Shibuya and Medi turn into? Shibuya, I think, turned into build because, of course, she's a basic bitch. Yeah. Um, I think Medi might have turned into Kaixa. I think that makes it even funnier. I <laughs> the day. <laughs> I knew you'd get a kick out of that. Transform into Kaixa, walk over to a garbage can. I live, I live here, here now. now. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! So, uh, work this week. Uh, once again, I worked overtime a week. Nice. Except for two days, I didn't work overtime. I think Tuesday or Wednesday, and then Friday. Because mm. I was just like, listen, no, I'm not coming in today. And Friday, they, they said that the guy on the weekend would take care of it. So I went, all right, that's fine. But it was like, I got home Thursday from doing laundry. And the second I did, they fucking called me like, hey, you want to come in today? And I was like, what the, like, what do you mean? <laughs> like, there were eight other people in front of me. They all said no. Yeah, because no one wants to come in. So I Work mean, it's sucks, like, dude. Two, two other guys said yes. And I was the last one. So it's was like, all right, so... It just rotated through everyone. Everyone else was like, no, we don't want to make money. And then they bitch that they don't, you know, make overtime money. And then I stare at them. But that's uh -huh. that's just how it works. Meanwhile, you're drowning in it. Oh, well. Yeah, uh, I, I, I kind of envy you because my uh, the, the school that I work at is currently closed because, hey, surprise, surprise, COVID hit again. Um, this is the third so week you brought it up. Yeah, I know. Uh, it, it's still closed. I know. That sucks. And I'm I'm currently unemployed until it decides to reopen are again. They, or, are they or at least just giving you money? I got paid for two days. Uh. One one for each week. I don't know what the current plan is. My boss said he'll to let me know, or if he has someplace else at uh, at someplace else, then then may, maybe I'll have work. I hope he says something soon. It is to be determined. Some kid did a hentai moan at me. Okay. I was going outside and to dump the garbage, going uh -huh. through the area. Uh-huh. Was, was it deserved? No. Oh, okay. No, there it's were... like, did, did you bend over at a right angle? No, I was just bringing the garbage down. I was walking down the path. There's a kid uh -huh. on a bike going by me. 
And as he was going by, he just went, oh, and just kept going. And I was like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> you were like, oh, I could have gotten in a lot of trouble if uh, someone else saw that. Now, was it actually at you or, or I like... think he, I don't know if he like did it out loud to get a reaction from me, like a what the fuck? Uh -huh. Or like if, if there was, was just recording a dildo a video. on the bike? Uh, well, I wasn't, I wasn't going to go there, but I mean, that's also a possibility. Well, were they like, how old was this kid? High, High school schooler? kid. Jesus. So uh, he, I, he could have been like doing a TikTok thing, like make I mean, a, yeah, make any, a funny anything noise. Anything for the gram, and, right? Yeah. Probably was. I, I didn't turn around or anything. I just kept walking and I was just like wide eyed. Like what the fuck just happened? Pretend you saw nothing. Pretty much. Yeah. And then uh, later that exact night, actually, I was like, man, you know, my I, ha I had milk in my fridge uh, and it spoiled. Oh, OK. I, I had placed the order just like a, two weeks ago. I placed the order for milk and I got I got it. And I saw that the uh, expiration date was for the uh, 10th and it was on the 11th. So I was like, it's only one day. It might be fine. Let me just. Yeah, you know. it's only one day. It, like uh, the milk normally lasts at least like five yeah so i like gave it a little sniff it didn't smell terrible so i i took a sip mm -hmm. i was like that doesn't taste right took a second sip just to be sure did you get a chunk not big not big sips no there were no chunk oh, okay i didn't take big sips but i took little sips and i was like yeah no something about that's not right so i held it up and i saw like the a, a nasty little film on it mm, and i was like oh yeah. yeah that's that's no good and i dumped the whole thing out shit my brains out after that yeah, that'll, that'll do it. But then, like, Thursday, I think it was, I went, when I was on my way home, I was like, I want milk. Baby want milk. Baby want milk. Baby hungry. Baby want milk with cookie. Milk. So I stopped at 7-Eleven. Uh, and when I got there, I got out of my car, I saw a, a teenage couple in a car making out. Mm -hmm. Going fucking wild making out. And I was like... I ate shit. They know what they're doing. And I went into the 7-Eleven. I grabbed myself some milk. Grabbed a Ben and Jerry's. Uh, kind. You walked out and they were fucking. Of course. Yeah, tonight, though. Tonight, though. The one of the best ones. Other than, like, half-baked. Do you, do you guys have Oconada? Yes. Okay. Except it's under I, a cone dream. Yeah, I, I, I recommend it. It's pretty good. And, uh, yeah, I walked outside. went back to my car. And I saw the uh, <laughs> the windows in the car were steamy on their car. Damn. Yep. And I looked in. They got, they got in, busy real quick. Because I was walking yeah. in, I was like, what the fuck? And I looked in. She was giving him a head in the parking lot. Yep. Now, when you say looked in, like, how far away were, were I, you to there have was looked about, in? There was about two spaces in between my car and their car. So uh, I was parked okay. right next to them. Oh, uh, okay. So I was walking over, and I'm, like, looking at my car, and I glance over, and I, like, turn my head a little. And I see her just bobbing, and I see his head just back, like, oh. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, oh, oh boy, he getting it. Oh, you should have knocked on the window, been like, good job, guys. I, I literally, like, just stared. I just, like, kept my eyes on them. I was looking. I was like, holy shit, let's go. Free show. Should have offered them an egg. I should have. I didn't have any eggs on me at the time. I would have. But it was, it was, it was, it was wild. Go back inside, buy an egg to offer them. I, I wanted to honk my horn, roll up my window, go, damn boy, you getting it? But I know better. Damn boy. I, 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 was, I was staring a lot more than I should have. I was just caught off guard. I was yeah. just like, I mean, it sh I shouldn't have been. It's a 7-Eleven parking lot. People have done drugs behind this 7-Eleven. I shouldn't be surprised if someone's sucking someone off here. I mean, hey, ain't no sex happening uh, at my local 7-Eleven. And that was, the, that was the late night delight. Nice. Ah, so uh, it wasn't delight for you. It was delight for some random kid. It was, it was delight for some random kid having a great fucking time while I'm sitting over here with a saggy dick just like, oh, man. <laughs> a saggy dick? <laughs> Why are you going to describe it like that? <laughs> Oh, don't let us sag. Oh, that's just I, sad. I think that was everything in my week. Uh, there, there is one thing I want to talk to you about, Carl. Uh huh. So before we get into dip chips, well, we got to talk so, about Jordan and Meddy's weeks. Yeah, I know. Yeah, d we're not there yet. Um, 
So, Carl, you seem to have a problem with my food ideas. Mm -hmm. So, do you have something to bring to the table? Well, I do have a new food challenge idea. Okay. Which was just, which was just, we should just make burgers. Just make a burger that you think you'll like. Like from just make yourself a burger. Like cook a burger yourself and put it together Uh and make a burger you think you'll like. How how is that any different than than yours? Than the than my ideas. Um, because you're actually making it, and I'm not going. All right, take a take a take a quarter pounder from McDonald's and slap a fucking donut on the buns, you freak. What about the PB and J? The PB and J was the whole like do it at home thing. It was entirely homemade. It wasn't for me. Well, yeah, because you're a loser, that's why. Because you're a loser that decides to walk in on bets and lose all of them. (laughs) And then you fucking... And then you make yourself lose by fucking shitting on on your mic all over the place. (laughs) Okay, well, that was funny. I mean, to you, I didn't laugh. Didn't didn't make me laugh. It should have. It was a loud one. It smelled awful. All right then. So yeah, do you guys want to? I was gonna say you guys just want to make make burger. Uh, I mean, yeah, fine, fuck it, sure. I'm down to cook the burger. What gator? Fuck you, Betty. How was your week? Oh, well, you know, uh, it was a week. I am very done with customers at work. Hey, it's uh, nearly over. Yep. Right. I uh, I have stopped um, pretending. Mm-hmm. So anytime someone's like, ha ha, 14, nine to two, what was that? What was that? I'm like, fuck off. You're not funny. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't even understand the bit. What? 1492? Columbus sailed the ocean blue. Everything in the stork rings up to 1492. I know what that year is. Fuck off. Oh. Get, get out of my store. I'm so done. <sighs> uh-huh. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, just, I don't even I, know I, what the fuck that is. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what the fuck that is, but I, I, I'm sure after hearing it over and over again for fucking because years, it's a year that people know. Uh-huh. So when the total rings out to fourteen dollars and ninety two cents, oh, yeah, they're they just, like, yeah, I get to be clever. The Pavlovian no. response. Oh, this you is know? Boomer's bite of eighty seven, right? I got you. Yeah. Like I, I hear it so much. Please <laughs> die in five Jordan separate fires. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I got Jordan good. <laughs> was it the bite of eighty seven? The bite of eighty seven. Yeah, the, no, your total so it's is the uh, bite of fourteen ninety two. Yeah, so your total comes out to nineteen eighty seven. Dude, was that the bite of get out of my store? Yes, yes, that too. I, I, I would. I I hate like current generation humor, like stuff like bite of 87 and, and sus and all that shit because it just reminds me of hurricane tortilla and it upsets <laughs> me tortilla. so much like to my core i hate oh. i hated that vine when it originally came out i hated it when it what went fucking it's viral it upsets me to my core More i hate like i despise tortilla. i despise <laughs> children so much you actually I, reminded me oh uh, yeah if i can find the first one there we go I saw two wild among us. Among us? Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. I saw two wild ones at work. Hold on, I just hey, uploading this on my phone, I mm-hmm. just saw a notification from one Shora Art who messaged me saying, Congrats, Dan knows about the Rugrats January 6th bit. Oh. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna fucking pass out. <laughs> fucking Rugrats. I hate it. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know, Tommy. They're starting to look into who was there, and they think we might be in trouble. <laughs> I hate this bit. I, Tommy, I, I, I don't know what bit I hate more, this or the egg. <laughs> such a bad Tommy, bit. there was a whole separate slate of electors, and they just ignored <laughs> them. Look, dude, I gotta make sure those pictures aren't anywhere on the internet. I don't want people seeing me sniffing AOC's shoes. <laughs> Can I talk about my week? Oh, yeah, sure. Go ahead. Yeah. Were you done with your week? Hold buddy? on. Carrie was here struggling to dance, so was I, Smeg. What's this about Smeg? Oh, Meg. It's Meg, Meg. there's Sorry. another arrow, Meg. yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. It's not Smeg, I thought it was too. Smeg. Mehdi, are you done with your week? Uh, yeah, I, I hate customers, and I will kill them all one day. Oh, you know, end of this I mean, week. End of this week. 
so I didn't have that eventful. Of a All right, week. so let's go into dip chips. Aside from um, soda ears, which I was getting Taco Bell, and they handed me my Pepsi before my like actual food because it needed a minute, and I took a drink. But you know when you like inhale in a liquid instead of actually drinking yes. it. Yes, 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 absolutely. Yep. Um, somehow this one felt like it didn't like go to like it went everywhere in my head. It mm-hmm. felt like I had soda coming out of my ears. <laughs> oh God! And it was probably the most pain I've been in in like a couple years. Yeah, when you, uh, when it's with flat drinks like a fucking milkshake or whatever, that's that's one thing. But but it feels like a hundred times worse when it's something carbonated. And aside from that, when I was I'm really the- interested about bubble fart car. So, <laughs> so I'm uploading a video. Let me describe my like thought process before you actually watch this video. I have my window uh-huh, down in the, okay. McDon- in the McDonald's drive-through, and I'm like, "What the uh-huh. fuck is that noise?" <laughs> okay, and and it's a crab. And I just I look around because like I know this McDonald's has like a like a like a fountain. Like in the in there, and I thought, oh, maybe this is like the fountain messing up. Uh huh. No, two cars ahead of me, I think. Mm-hmm. There's this vi- there's this video right here. Oh, oh, oh! I just, I just listened to it. It's funny as shit. It, <laughs> it 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 sounds like a toddler farting in a tub. It sounds like a. Uh... <laughs> the cars from the fucking Jetsons. Yeah, and but, Alien like, is there. But it's like slowed down. Like it's it, like the car is just like not moving as fast. It's waiting in the drive thru. <laughs> yeah, had... that 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 <laughs> engine is like flooding. <laughs> like real soon. Jesus. I had no that that's just all I can think of. I have an I have an update. KZ has said in Dan's chat, Reptar stops the insurrection. Also, Angelica's dad would do it a hundred percent. KZ gets it. Oh, what else happened, Jordan? Oh, that was it. That was, that was it. Oh, this. Yeah, that's all I can think of at the moment. You said something. Cool. About I'm glad thing. you were so eager to get that out. But Jordan, you you said something about soda ears. Yeah, that, you, that was it. You it, were it, already it, talked it, about that. Yeah, my I felt like soda was coming oh, out of my ears. Okay, all right, I got you, got you, got you. God, we're a mess. When aren't we? Hello, everybody. This is your captain speaking. I thank you all for listening to another exciting episode of Dip Ships, the totally legitimate boating podcast. Cutting into a little bit of housekeeping as normal. You know, tell you about the regular stuff that I always do. So let's just get, let's just, let's just hey, dive right in, you know, right into them open waters, baby. That was loud. Holy shit. If you want any updates about the podcast or anything, don't forget to follow us on Twitter at Dipships Pod. And you can follow us all individually at The Calamity Carl, at EXPayline, at GFPPM, and at Metor Man. If you have any questions, any topics you want to send in for us, uh, send them to dipshipspod at yahoo.com or respond to the tweet put out every Sunday, you know. So sometimes we miss, sometimes we hit. It's 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 just it's 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 all a mess. Everything's a mess now. You know, it's just how it is. If you'd like to support us directly, you can do so by going to Patreon.com/dipshipspod. You can go and sign up for the five dollar tier to become a what the hell is that one? Is that deckhand? No, it's Swabby. I don't remember. Go and join the five dollar tier, and you can watch PM versus Anime, a series where we watch anime with PM, and then we critique it and talk about it. We're fin- we finished up the Tommy Galaxy. That'll be up. The part two, rather, will be up at some point uh, soon. God, I'm a mess. And uh, <laughs> for ten dollars and above, we're, we're going to release commentary tracks for these things eventually when Jordan sends me the rest of them. And that's going to go up. And there's other things. We're trying so hard. Please make sure to check it out. Support us wherever you can. I would like to thank our ten dollar and above patrons. Which I forgot to pull the list up again before I did this because I have the intellect of a goldfish. Don't send a two fact 
factor. What do you mean two factor? I was already logged in. Oh, I'm getting angry. Anyway, as as as, as I was saying, I'd like to give a, a thank you to our ten dollar and above patrons, starting with Alatos Diogenes, Andres Rojas, Breakdown Seven O Seven, Diablo, Duragon Twenty Three, Doctor Perpaka, the Purple Paka, Fire Trooper One Thirteen, Frost Samurai, Generic Jackal, Iris Placeholder. Mop, Mr. I Like Spam, Mr. King Jacob 9002, Ocelot, Shibuya Gato, Yo, come on, based our $20 patron, Jude, and our $50 patron, our quartermaster, Bai. Thank you all very much for the support. You keep us afloat. Ha <laughs> ha. It, it does help. Thank you. Once again, a huge thank you to Vitizen at underscore Vitizen underscore on Twitter for our wonderful theme song, Starbird, and for multiple other wonderful songs, such as Ride the Wave and Appetite Delight and Seaside. Wonderful songs, great songs. Thank you so much. Please ch check out Vitizen and support him and all of his works. And also, a huge thank you to Shibuya Gato and Shora Art, at Shibuya Gato, at Shora underscore art, on Twitter, for our wonderful art assets. Go and support them also. Wonderful artists, great friends. We also do a podcast mo called Millennium Microphone, You'll you'll hear about it later, like you always do, in an outdated ad. It's fine. Don't forget, we're also available on Podbean, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Amazon Music, and of course our video version on YouTube. I don't know where you're checking this out, where you're watching. There's probably other places. Wherever you get yours, hey, as long as you're listening, that's all we care about, baby. We just need the metrics. Just gotta know, you know. As long as you enjoy it and you like it, you listen to it and you love it and share it around. Everyone, you know. That's about that's about all we got for this week. Uh, I feel like I'm dying. Uh, I'm sorry this episode came out late. It's just how it, it's just how it'd be, uh, unfortunately. But you know we're getting back into the episode now, eventually, soon. So please enjoy the rest of it. Hello, if you're listening to this podcast, then you're either a big fan of boats or a big fan of listening to friends goof off for a few hours. Well then, I have excellent news for you. Yu-Gi-Oh! The Show has plenty of boats. And the Millennium Microphone is a podcast where four friends re-watch the show with boats and also goof off for a few hours every other week. It features that Carl guy that you've been listening to here, along with Shora, Bioroxis, and me. Shibuya Gato. Check us out on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or Podbean. We also have a Patreon to see how many seasons people will force us to watch, so go check that out too at patreon.com slash millennium mic. If, if you don't know how to spell millennium, that's uh, two L's, two N's, and then an M-I-C at the end. Or you could just Google us. I, I guess that works too. See you there! So we dip in chips. Do we, do we want to dip some chips? I had a burger. <laughs> burger. I mean, I think we all had that. <laughs> you had two. Yeah, I had. Oh, God. I technically also had two. So everyone, welcome to Dip Chips. It's a podcast and a podcast where we eat different foods and rate them. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, this week, we're doing PM's uh, idea of uh, slicing a donut in half and putting a burger inside of it. Now, my initial thing when I when I came up with this, I'm like, get get a burger, get a donut, put the donut in the burger. <laughs> yeah, you did. You said that, and then said bo uh, bonus points if you just use the. You just cut the donut in half and... I did say that. I so forgot. I, yeah, I was just like, I'm yep. just going to do that because it's easier. That's less bread, technically. Okay. It's yeah, actually true. more. Yeah, we saved on calories. It's about Ex the except I ended up eating the bread on the first one anyway. Yeah, fucking... All right, who's going first? I can go I, first. I should probably... Well, no, I, I should probably go first I'll, because I'll I have two. I'll go first. Okay, uh, fine. <laughs> PM, go first. All right, fine. Um, So my... My my first concoction. <laughs> uh, so we all got uh, quarter pounders with cheese, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, that was a consensus. All right. Uh, my my first a concoction. 
I just went to Tim Hortons and I grabbed uh, my my <laughs> my go to favorite, the sour uh, cream glazed donut. Or the is it sour cream glazed? Or, no, it's it's just sour glazed donut. Um, cut it in half. I, I had a problem because I didn't have any good like bread knives to cut the uh, to cut the donut in half, so I had yeah. to use a butter knife. So I was like a fucking surgeon cutting this thing in half without f- absolutely destroying the bastard. Um, it it was actually amazing. I I loved it so much that I decided to double dip. Mm-hmm. Oh, and then <laughs> I still had leftover bread that still had like mustard and ketchup in it. So I just put the two empty pieces of bread together and started eating that. Because yeah, <laughs> I mean, waste not want not exactly. It was it would have been a waste otherwise. Um, so Carl, mm-hmm. the the second my second sandwich was all your fault. You're welcome. Be- because I looked at the pictures of your donut, mm-hmm. uh, your donuts, and I'm like, wow, those are some fancy donuts. And I got a little jealous because the Tim Hortons that I went to didn't really have any fancy donuts. But thankfully. Uh, there is another Tim Hortons a little further away, but not too far. So I went to that one to see if they have any fancier stuff, and they did. So they had uh, these two donuts. Uh, one is uh, the coffee cake donut, which is the first one. Yeah. And the second is a Black Forest donut. Ooh. Now, here's a problem. When And I can transition right into fucking cheat meal with this one. So... When I went to my my usual McDonald's and asked for a quarter pounder with cheese, they're like, "Oh no, we uh, we can't." I'm like, "Why? Oh, we're at a quarter pounder meat." I'm like, excuse excuse me, how are you at a quarter pounder meat? It's fucking two in the afternoon. How are you out a quarter pounder meat? <laughs> People really wanted quarter pounders. And they're like, "You want a you you want a Big Mac? Do you want a McDouble?" I'm like, "Hell no!" After my first experience with a fucking Big Mac, I'm never going back to a fucking Big Mac. So I'm like, "You know what? Fuck it. Give me a McChicken with cheese." Uh, and not only is it a McChicken with cheese, it is the spiciest ghost pepper uh, McChicken. Oh, because I saw that what? they had that on the menu, so I'm like, "Yeah, let's spice this up." <laughs> so no wonder I feel like garbage. <laughs> What's wrong oh, with those you? PF, those PFTs are going to be nuts. <laughs> oh, those PFTs are going to be drowning is what's going to fucking happen. <laughs> drowning and on fire all at the same time. So what I did was uh, I cut uh, both donuts in half. Uh, I took the tops of both of the donuts because that's where all the good stuff was. Uh, uh, and then I, pu- I took my McChicken with cheese, put it in between and had it. Um, it was not very good. I thought the combination of flavors would do something mixed along with the spice and oh oh no <laughs> oh no it was incredibly sweet within minutes you of see, me PM, finishing you, you mm. flew too close to the sun I did I wanted to recapture yep. the magic and if I really wanted to I would have just gone and gotten like you, you a were carbon good. copy you were good you were golden you were perfect everything was great and then you decided to go that extra mile and you, you shit the bed exactly. almost literally probably tonight Pro- pro- <laughs> probably um i'd say, say the- goodbye to those sheets Rip. no no that you know what's funny so i've washed those old sheets uh, since then uh those those old sheets are now my current sheets <laughs> so uh I, I i hope that these sheets ju- just don't have a trend of th- them getting shit on <laughs> the best thing about the second sandwich was when i got to the fucking manichino cherry and I thought that would have been the most disgusting part, but no, that was actually the tastiest part of the whole sandwich. It was just that one bite with the cherry on it. Yeah, no, it was way too spicy. I thought the cheese and the sweetness of uh, all all of the donut would counteract it. No, oh no, it wasn't. It was just spicy and sweet. Within minutes, I had heartburn. Uh, within minutes, my heart was pounding out of my chest because the amount of sugar that I just put in my fucking body... <laughs> I may have diabetes and high cholesterol after the sandwich, probably. <laughs> the first sandwich, I give an eight. The second sandwich gets uh, a three. Wow, generous. Yeah, right. I'm done. Uh, Jordan? So I had this about an hour ago at this point. Mm-hmm. It is just a Krispy Kreme glazed donut. Yeah. Because I tried going to my Kroger's uh, bakery to get some donuts, but they had none. There were no donuts on the donut shelf, so I had to just deal with a basic bitch-ass Krispy Kreme. I mean, what you could have done 
was, um, does your McDonald's have the mini donuts? You could have gotten like not what the? not at not at five p.m. Really? Because my my mine has it like all the time. The your fuck? McDonald's have donuts? Yeah. What yeah. the fuck? Mine has donuts, cookies, croissants. Like, do you not have Mick Cafe in America? We we do, but I don't think we have donuts in them. Mick yeah, we Cafe got... here is just like the fancy coffee. coffee. Yeah, no, they have like fancy a... coffee and some some baked goods. We've got like cinnamon rolls and apple pie and uh, uh cookies, and that's about it. I think. You yeah, mine has rolls? mini donuts. Yeah, they're and, good. Like, and like different kinds. There's like the 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 classic like. Uh, strawberry jam donuts. There's your Boston creams. There's like a maple nut crunch uh, type of donut. What the fuck? This is yep. wild. Let me let me see if I can grab some pictures for you. Anyway, my this was better than I expected. The sweetness of the glazed donut went surprisingly well with the meat and bacon and cheese. <laughs> the umami of the burger. <laughs> the the oh, umami. The mouse feel <laughs> gross. What do you rate what about it? Your uh, seven. Nice, Medi. Did you did you did you do this? Yes, Ooh. I did. I did do this. Tell tell tell. Well, uh, considering I can really only get to a McDonald's after uh, the store closes. Oh, those cute. Uh, oh, those are tiny little donuts. Look at them; they're baby. I've never seen something that looks that good come out of a McDonald's ever in my life. Oh, really? oh, because this is the display product. Let me let me grab you what they actually look <laughs> like real quick. Like. The, this is this is what they usually look like coming out of the store. Oh, it didn't link an, an actual image. God Hold on, let's see. It. Let's click it. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. That's about what I expected. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. about what they look like. Well, anyway, I was able to to get a quarter pounder with a uh, relative. I'm not going to say ease because I have to oh. go like two miles, three miles out of my way to get to a McDonald's. Yeah. But yeah, I, I got one. Uh, and and then I had to go use? to three different Wawa's to find a donut. Oh, boy. <laughs> really? Why Why does nobody have donuts? I. It was like 11 p.m. Where the oh, fuck am oh, I going to okay, get a right. donut? Yes, yes, <laughs> yeah. right. I. It was just like a... a Plain donut with strawberry frosting, and I'm like, I guess I'm doing this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> was it at least good? It's all right. I yeah. mean, D did you also like, cut it in half, or did you just put it in the fucking burger? <laughs> I I just I I put I replaced the top bun with it. Oh, okay. Oh, fair. Yeah. Wait the uh, whole the whole donut has the top bun. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. <laughs> I was tired and I was hungry and I'm like, I'm not getting a. I wish you took out. a picture of it. I would have loved to. Have I should have. <laughs> I'm picturing it. It's really funny. <laughs> 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 anyway, <laughs> it was it was it was sure a donut on top of a hamburger. <laughs> 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 like, <laughs> I mean, it, boy howdy it tastes like a mcdonald's hamburger with a donut slapped on top <laughs> <laughs> okay what do you rate it i i i rate it you don't fucking know <laughs> I rate it disposable napkin out of ten. What the? How the fuck do you rate something like this? What Just is in, this? It's like middle of the road. It's a five out of ten. I rate it spleventine out of A to Z. Like, I, all right. I hate it. Oh, we take those. Why do we do these things? Hey, look. I don't know about you, but I had a really good one. Now, you see, uh, when I uh, received my McDonald's oh. order, uh, I actually uh, did not. As a matter of fact, have the donuts yet? But I decided to prepare the McDonald's mm -hmm. for the donuts. So you know, I ordered nuggets to go with everything. Okay. I took the the burger apart, and I put the nuggets on the remains of the burger. Oh, you okay. went? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Waste not, want not. And I added an extra slice of cheese. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen. The McChicken Nugget. 
I mean, it's a McChicken. Really didn't, really didn't taste that much of the cheese that I added. It was a bit dry. I dunked it in the tangy barbecue sauce a bit and made it a little better. It reminds me of the chicken sandwiches I used to get from school for lunch. Is it, isn't this just like a harder to eat McChicken? Because a little bit. like, like if you try to dip the fucking yeah, they could the, fall out the sandwich. And they'll just fall out. Some of them fell out. It was all right. It was like a six out of ten. It's not bad. It was it was pretty all right. It was serviceable. Actually, I might bump that down to a five. It was it was all right. It was it was good. Then then uh, the main course, the piece de resistance, the quarter pounder bacon cheeseburger with maple bacon donut buns. Ooh. Mm. Uh, you, you see, I ordered a a, a bunch of uh, a bunch of donuts there from a, a donut a, place by me. A variety, a variety. Uh, two s'mores, one cinnamon roll, one uh, Oreo chocolate, sorry. one confetti, and the aforementioned maple bacon. Slice the maple bacon in half. I kind of fucked up the cut a little bit. That looks fine. It, it, it was fine. It held together. It was pretty good. I now I, I also have diabetes and high blood pressure. Uh huh. That was very sweet. It's it's a it's a fucking maple donut. It it was just nothing but maple. It was just mouthfuls of maple. Barbary. So Sorry, British. <laughs> so yeah. <Wolf> of <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. It, it tasted mostly of maple. It was incredibly sweet, so I couldn't eat the whole thing, but I ate a good amount of it. It was like a seven or eight out of ten. It was it was really good. I liked oh, it. Boy. This was the best thing that we've done. And we're all a little bit unhealthier. And we're all, oh, my order was delivered by Michael. In all caps. Well, thank you, Michael. I, 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 I figured that it was important again. to mention because he had it in all caps. So that means he had to be important. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's a, you are an NPC in his journey. He could have walked up to my door and just been like, here's your credit cards. Hey, nice meeting you. We'll have a wonderful Tuesday. And I'd be like, what the fuck just happened? He just repeatedly mashed the A button. Yeah, yeah pretty much. It's like, motherfucker, it's Saturday. What are you talking about? What, what, do, you, what do you mean <laughs> Tuesday? Just, just mashing the A button to get through the dialogue tree because he doesn't want to talk to your ass. <sighs> yeah, this that was pretty good. the worst fetch quest I've been on. I, I had, I had the, one of the s'mores donuts after, too. The, the donuts are really fucking good. Good place. Oh, they look really good. Where'd you get them? Uh, there's this place near me called Doology. Ooh. We're getting donuts from there. I guess, yeah. And you guys want some... <laughs> you want some questions? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Me. Throw them. I suppose Play it's about that me. time, isn't it? It is about questions time. Oh, before I forget. Uh, have you guys... Have you guys seen that video? No. Of... The Michael Jackson impersonator on L on the streets of L.A. getting into a fight. No. I. <laughs> what? Please do tell. Okay, so. <laughs> or just link the video. Yeah, there you go. Is he bad? The the thing about this this video is the quote tweet that I. Oh found damn! It go, through. Michael. They gotta have the Vegas is one of the worst cities to pick a fight with a stranger with because they gotta have the highest per capita rate of aspiring UFCers of any city in the country. Uh -huh. Michael Jackson impersonators out here shooting for arm bars and pulling up rear naked chokeholds. God damn! Why is why is the other guy wrapping his head in Michael's shirt? That's wild. Michael's powerful. God damn! This is the. Dumbest fight I've seen in a while. What's this dude doing? There's just some fucking. I I'm, I'm assuming drunk old guy. Yeah, decided probably. to fucking pick a fight with with this Michael Jackson impersonator and got his yeah, fucking ass beat. I can definitely. beat your ass, Michael Jackson. You're dead. Like he crawls into his shirt. What the fuck? Yeah, because he knew he was he was going to be fucked. So he was just like desperately trying to get out of the situation. By pulling his hair and his shirt and whatever. Hey, PM. Yo. Uh, someone asked me to ask you to explain the Gilly Suit Man story because we haven't said it on the podcast. We've only oh, said it we not? Oh, on okay. streams. Okay. Here we go. So let's explain what, so PM's crimes. <sighs> <sighs> All right. So one time uh, I had just left uh, my part time. And... Uh, on my way to the part time, there's this big parking lot, and uh, a, uh, along the parking lot is like a, a little path with a couple of benches, 
and mm-hmm. some like big uh, stone dividers. And laying on one of the stone dividers is a bike. And it's not it's not chained to anything. Uh, the, the tires aren't locked. It's just a bike there. I'm like, okay, cool. Uh, I go grab a coffee and breakfast. And I come back uh, to sit at one of the benches in, the, in that parking lot. And the bike is still there. I'm like, okay, interesting. Uh, I eat my breakfast, drink my coffee. And I decide... If no one comes to claim this bike, I'm taking this bike because you know I'm on a I'm on a health kick recently. I'm I'm trying to, uh, d- d- despite everything that we've eaten the last couple of weeks, I am trying to be a little bit healthier. Um, so I'm like, oh, I'll, I I don't have a bike. Bikes are expensive currently. Uh, I want a fucking free bike, so I'll wait to see if anybody claims a bike, and uh, and if no one claims a bike, the bike is mine. I it, it I officially declare it abandoned. So I wait there, and I wait there for an hour. And one dude, like, came by, sat on another bench next to me, uh, stayed around there for a couple minutes, but uh, he got up and, and left also, so it wasn't his bike. Um, so after an hour, I'm like, all right, the bike is mine. I stand up, stand in front of the bike. I'm about to put my hands on the bike, and then I just hear screaming from uh, from somewhere. And I look around. And I don't I hate see anything. this story. I look around and I don't see anything, but I'm hearing screaming. And then all of a sudden, in my peripherals directly behind me, uh, I see movement in like it, it, there was like this tall grass looking uh, stuff. It looked like fucking wheat. And from the wheat stands up a a person head to toe in a ghillie suit screaming at the top of his lungs i knew you fucking come back you fu- you son of a bitch i knew you come back for the bike uh so this dude fucking laid out a trap because somebody at some point stole his bike and he wanted fucking revenge so he laid out a trap to to recapture <laughs> a bike thief so he comes towards me and he pulls out a knife and i'm like fuck that i'm out so i hop the fucking stone divide uh stone divider Fucking most athletic thing I've done ever since I was a fucking teenager. I have I've never been this athletic before. <laughs> Run across the fucking parking lot. And I look behind me and he's chasing me. He also hopped the divider and is chasing me. There is another stone divider at the other end of the parking lot. I hop that and there are trees along uh, that divider. So I weave in between two trees. Run toward the main street. Fucking ghillie suit man also hops that divider but gets stuck in between the trees. I make my way to the fucking main street, make a right, and I never see him again. But I hear him screaming, I know what you fucking look like. I'll f- I'll find you one day, you son of a bitch. Uh, and yeah, so I initially told this story on Casey's stream. And since then, I've been marked as a criminal. You are. Because, because no, the bike was abandoned. Or at least, I, at least I thought it was abandoned. So if so, if this bike was outside of a store and you saw it there and you just went, I'm going to wait here and see if anyone walks out of the store to get this bike, you would have just taken that bike. Listen, you motherfuckers, uh, I'm not I, I don't want to talk about justice with Americans because your your sense <laughs> of justice is fucking skewed. You'll you motherfuckers will fill a dude's chest full of buckshot if they look at your lawnmower funny. I refuse to talk about justice <laughs> with you bastards. <laughs> it's right. his property. I'm not a criminal. <laughs> it was his property. I just, I really hope that by the time Gillis suit guy, like he chased you like half a mile. I really hope that when he walked back to where his trap was set up, the bike was stolen. <laughs> yeah, he, he comes back from chasing me and his bike is, is you it's know what? stolen by the that thief happened. that he was waiting for. That'd be yeah, great. Will t- I will tell you. Uh-huh. He was also wearing a ghillie suit in the reeds. I do think it is fair to just call that dude insane. Yeah, yeah. obviously it was insane. Yeah. He chased me with a fucking knife. Yeah, that's that's but, the thing. That no one was saying that that guy wasn't insane. They were just saying that you're a fucking criminal for trying to take the bike. And and then and then like all, there was like eight or nine people in the call, and they were all calling me fucking criminal. Especially Dylan, she would not let it go. Like I, I'm convinced that it was her bike. And, and she and she, <laughs> she was the guy. Every time I thought the conversation was done, <laughs> she would uh, bring it back up. Uh, but you should have sold the bike. You should have sold the bike. Like, bitch, please, please. I was trying to get away from that conversation so bad, but it went on for like over an hour. She would not let it fucking die. Well, yeah, you're a fucking criminal. 
I'm trying to bring you to justice. But yeah, the, these motherfuckers were like making comparisons like, oh, so if a child was just uh, out uh, and, and nobody was attending it, you would have just taken the child. Obviously not. A child is not a bike. A car is not a bike. If it's, uh, uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Children aren't valuable. You're right. Every every fucking time this this like conversation comes up or or see, somebody somebody will hear it from like a bus uh, best of or uh, uh, like a super cut from the stream and they get to that there there is a handful of people on my side and it turns out like a lot of the people aren't from America surprise surprise the people not from America have a have a decent sense of justice now now, now PM if if you had passed by. That I bike. justice. Me stealing a bike is justice. It, P- PM. I weighed. If I had seen the bike immediately and went yoink, yes, yes, that would have been stealing. PM. But the fact that I waited for an hour, I wasted an hour of my time to make sure that the bike was in fact but abandoned. Thing, but it's, 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 an hour no, it doesn't wasn't, mean it's clearly. abandoned. The guy could have been in a fucking store. He could have been in there for two there hours. Was he no could have store. had an appointment there were, or something. There was no store. L- listen, listen. Okay, l- let me paint the fucking picture for you then. This this parking lot is not anywhere near a store. All right, it is in the it is in the middle of a neighborhood. There are no stores. Middle of a neighborhood. There, there is no reason to just leave a bike for an hour unattended. Was it chained? No, it was not. That no part of it was chained. There was there was no chain. There was no lock anywhere. Like not on the wheels. Nothing. It was just there, leaning. It wasn't even on a bike stand. It was just leaning against the stone divider. Right, I can understand it a little more. But at the same time, I feel like if you would pass it every day for multiple days, then I would be like, all right, it's abandoned. I'm going to take the fucking but thing. But someone else would have fucking taken it before I did. Well, yeah. And it's that would have been the Toronto. guy Gilly suit guy stabbed. Exactly. Like, and, and honestly, like somebody made a joke about it, but then I'm like, you, you know what? No, I agree. I saved a life that day. I saved a life. Anybody else? Any you child? Saved the any life old of a person? Criminal. Any child? Any old person could have walked across that bike, tried to take the bike, and ended up getting fucking stabbed by this uh, by this fucking crazy dude. I'm a hero. I'm not a criminal. I'm the hero. Yeah, you can keep telling yourself that. It's fine. I so literally can... have to to keep myself fucking safe. Did you, so there, did there, you there, report the ghillie suit stabber to the police? Fuck no, I don't fuck the police. <laughs> I, I fucking ran home and stayed indoors all fucking day. If you have any questions or any topics to send in to us, uh, make sure you send them to dipshipspod at yahoo.com or respond to the tweet that's put out every Sunday when we record. Wh- whoever asked me to tell that story again, fuck you. I fucking hate you. you fucking... <laughs> uh, we have a question here from Milo. It says, uh, ahoy boat boys, a question ahoy. for you lovely lads. Have any of ahoy. you ever con- gotten a uh, concussion before? I've only gotten yes. one after walking into a balcony and cracking my skull open. Thanks. The artist formerly known as Dracus. Oh shit, he's alive. He's alive. I've, what I've is he known he's, as now? Uh, uh, Caliban. Yeah. Or my or Milo, whatever. Um, I know I know he's been around the, this entire time. He decided to rebrand because I, I think he got t- uh, tired of the whole crack baby bit. <laughs> Which you know, fa- fair enough, fair enough. All it's right, it's, it it's kind of an ins- insensitive bit. Um, concussion, yes, several. Um, I used to wrestle in high school. I played football in high school. I've had my share of concussions back in the day. And you went not so much. Downhill. No, I haven't. I haven't. I haven't. Well, I might have had a mild concussion when I tripped on the stairs and knocked out my tooth. <laughs> but I, but I think I just knocked myself out. No, it wasn't like a full blown concussion. Yeah, I don't think I ever had a concussion, bud. I've never had any sort of major injury in my life. That's about to change. Oh, well, you don't have to get a concussion from a major injury. Yeah, if you, like, uh, trip funny and land on your if head you, bad. Yeah, if you trip good funny, enough. your head bumps something. Uh, one time I stood up in a fridge at work while I was standing on a keg, because I'm, you know, this was when I was working at the bar. And forgetting that I am uh, a goddamn seven foot tall Goliath, and yeah, I'm already standing on a gaul- five foot tall keg, yeah, I bounced the- my head off a refrigeration oh, unit. <laughs> oh, ouch! I've done and that I, before. Uh, I couldn't haven't, think haven't... straight for like a half hour after that, and I yeah. went to the hospital. Yeah, concussions aren't fun. They're it's definitely like an, not. It's like an intense. How, how would I describe it? It's like feeling dizzy for several hours and sick 
and sick. Yeah, it's like an intense because you're just your brain wellness. knows. Oh shit! I should not be working right now. Now, I misread this question when I first looked at it. Okay. So now it's a little more confusing to me because I thought it was fight, but it's it's a different word entirely. Uh, Hinata Shoyo uh, asks, uh, "What deep sea fish is the most dateable and why?" Now I thought it said the most fightable. I think I may have had a stroke. Okay. No, no. Uh, uh, I'm gonna go with the. I don't know, like, I, I can see why a monster fucker would be like, oh, the anglerfish, but uh. Okay, clearly we have a Code Geass fan here. Um, <laughs> do not, do not do pleasure not yourself. Pleasure. With the fish, any fish <laughs> doesn't matter if it's cr a crustacean, a fucking nautilus shell, oh. whatever. I, I I get that clams look like pussy. Don't stick your dick in it, Please and don't do eat it out Lord either, Hills. unless it's cooked. Yeah, I was I was I was gonna say like a squid, but they have beaks. That's not gonna that's not gonna be good. Yeah, no, there's pointy. Don't yeah. fuck fish. Period. That's don't it. Don't you put it on your dick? Don't you put it on your dick? Oh, Alright, but in see. Pokemon, Whale Lord can ble uh, breed with Skitty. Uh, yeah, I wish to forget that every day. <laughs> Captain Taro asks, uh, what thing being turned into an NFT emotionally hurt the most? Metabots. Bots like, see? see? Yeah, so, dude. So, no. here's the thing. Here's the it's thing with that. Fucking thing. Here's the thing with that. It wasn't like the actual IP owners of Metabots. It wasn't the creators of Metabots going, we're going to do NFTs. It was someone mm -hmm. who bought the rights to the name Metabots thinking they owned the IP and tried to make NFTs out of it. Yeah, the the trademark for, for Metabots expired in Europe. So some dude just bought bought it and went, oh, yeah, I own Metabots now. And, and here's our NFT game about it. Yeah, and then the actual creators were like, what the fuck is this? And I think they sued his ass. Yeah, yeah. There's, it's it's currently in. Well, actually, I don't know if that that's resolved yet, but yeah, th there was this whole fucking Twitter thread that I read about it, and it's it's depressing, it's sad, it's insane. Fuck it. Did NFTs. you see? Uh, someone bought uh, a copy of an art book for an unreleased Dune movie mm. for like ten million dollars. Jesus, Ugh. I did not. See and was though. like. I own Dune now. <laughs> I'm gonna make an animated series. I'm I mean, gonna make NFTs. I'm gonna make. Oh. Con considering you bought that, uh, you paid that much for it. You might as well. But, yeah, but they don't actually own the rights. It's yeah, of course not. Just yeah. one art book, but they think they own the rights. That's it's so like Soldier funny. Boy owning Atari. <laughs> oh God, I uh, yeah, I remember that now. You know what hurt me the most? Uh. As Shura told me last night. A little Nas X getting into NFTs. Oh, very... dude. Who? Come on, man. Little, little Nas. Nas X. Never heard of him. Montero? Call me by your name. Uh, horses in the back. But the horses in the back. Horses back in what? the back. Horses in the, ba the back. <laughs> and the horses in the back. Got some horses in, the, in back. the back. Horses, horses in the back. <laughs> I mean, that's the best remix ever, by the way. <laughs> uh, there, there, there are so many remixes like that where they just take one line of the song and, and make it the entire song. Where that's one of my favorites. Go? They're still horses. They're in the back. <laughs> I do like the uh, gorillas in a bag. That one's really great. There's the in Black Eyed Peas where it's like, uh, keep running. Keep running, Keep running, running, and running, 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 uh, you, the one you mentioned was pretty bad. Um, there was uh, uh, what's his name? A lot of the, a lot of the things that I've Stan really Lee's haven't. That, I that forgot one about the Stan Lee one. That, that one was just kind of like offensive. We gotta wait for the Betty White NFTs. No, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you for reminding me. Actually, I changed my answer. That the one I said sucks. The fucking Etika ones. 
Oh, uh, yes, yeah. that's right. That's fucking disgusting, dude. That's fucking vile. Like, is that even his family doing that? I don't remember. I think it's just some random dude who's like, well, the money's going to his family. And it's like, just don't do it. Yeah, just don't. Just don't do it. These are my organization 13 NFTs. No, don't call Disney. <laughs> that oh person is so fucking funny. I I have to assume that it was a joke. Oh, I hope so. It it read like a joke. Like it, it was either a joke or a literal child. But I, I hope it was like a bit. Alright, um uh Thal uh asks us a follow up question from a previous episode. If someone were to beat each one of you in a fight, what power would they get from you? Doesn't need to be a positive, it could just be straight up a curse. Oh. Well I you'd get my robot master weapon. So uh, Pickaxe? Yeah, you know, huh? the power of pickaxe. Yes, exactly. Pickaxe and helmet. <laughs> you get uh, a little helmet. The helmet's invincible. Unfortunately, you don't fit under it because you're a human. Exactly. <laughs> uh, let's see. My power or my curse. Oh, God. <laughs> I've got a laundry list of them. Uh, uh, f- I tell you what. I'll give you one of each. For a curse, you are plagued. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna save you from the cheat meal curse because I, I don't wish that on anybody. Uh you are plagued by raccoons for your entirety <laughs> your entire existence. And your power uh your Is power to summon it, raccoons. No, I, I can't summon them. Trust me. If I if I could summon them, I should have the power to get rid of them too, but unfortunately I don't. Um no. the power it would have to be something fart related. Uh you know, you're right. Raccoons have the power to summon you. What are you thinking, Jordan? We would get the exclusive rights to produce PFTs. Hey, that's a pretty good power right there. That'll make you money one day. <laughs> no, it really will not. I ha- Much I've, like I've regular had, NFTs. I've had several people link me. Uh, uh, you know that girl that uh, sold her farts in jars, right? Yeah. Oh, Where, how she's hospitalized for yeah, excessive gas? Yeah, she, she got hospitalized for like almost having a heart attack, so she quit uh, selling her farts in jars. So they're like, oh, uh, so I've had several people going, oh, be careful, PM, got to watch out. The PFTs might kill you. I'm like, shit, you're probably right. I'm so, I'm still going to keep doing them, though. What about you, Jordan? What are you thinking? The infinite, the ability to shoot Jonas Brothers facts at people. <laughs> Just off the top of your head. Jordan, yes. like, but they're, man, but they're I like, hate this bit, but also this bit. <laughs> But but like the letters are like physical objects. Ah, ah yes, I too have read Scoob and Shag. Oh, so you like that that onomatopoeia kid in in My Hero? Yeah. yeah, that's fucked. That's a pretty good one. I don't even right, know what. Carl. Hmm. Probably some writer related, right? That's what I was thinking, honestly. Power to grab a toy and bring it to life. You slap a belt on yourself, transform with it. That's what I mean, I'm all, of you, all of y'all actually had powers. Mine are just, mine are just curses. Well, that's I mean, I'm assuming if anyone but you summoned a raccoon, there's like a 50-50 shot PM, of it just not like, being hostile. Just like you yourself, uh, your powers are a hindrance. Yes, correct. That was very oh, mean. Wow, I'm that's sorry. fucked up. That was uh, fucked up. Uh, it's it's not fucked up if it's accurate. PM, mm. would you like some ice for that burn? Would you I like feel kiss? no. I feel no pain. Ray asks us, uh, any upcoming games or anything else you guys are looking forward to? Uh, RCS is in, in like two weeks. Yes. I'm hyped for that. I'm excited. That's, I that's don't, my I answer. Don't, I, I don't know if I'll be able to afford it, but I'll I'll try. That and, uh, what is it, Sunbreak or whatever? The Monster Hunter Rise expansion? Yeah, but that's all the way in fucking summer. Oh, I'm still looking forward to that. Yeah. Um, Arceus for sure. And... Probably Elden Ring. Oh yeah, that's uh, March. Uh, n- next month. Damn, oh, next month, right? Unless they delay it again. Destiny expansions coming out in uh, a month. Still or so. again? Yeah, it's almost like they're not gonna let the game die. I thought they deleted like half the content of the game. Oh, don't yeah, worry, that... they're about to do it again. <laughs> Come on! And everyone who plays Destiny is very angry about it because yeah, there's dude. no reason to. No, Carl, don't you see? Destiny's basically like Pokemon and Magic. All the old stuff is uh, is irrelevant now. There's no Man. point to it. Just, just yeah. play with the new stuff. That makes me the so thing sad. Is, all right. 
I have a whole complaint. I'm, I'm not going to get into it now. Let's let's move That's on. That's fair. Yeah. I have opinions about this thing. Uh, Adverki in Chaos asks, uh, Boom! A genie appears and tells you they will oh, grant you okay. three wishes. What are your wishes? Oh, I thought that the end of it was boom and then we were dead. Three wishes, huh? Three wishes. Uh, I want mm-hmm. an infinite vape. Yeah. So where, like, I I never need to replace a cartridge and I never need to charge its battery. Fair, yeah. Pretty just good. constantly getting high off of it. My second wish, an infinite bank account. <laughs> so I don't need to worry about anything ever again. Yeah, that's fair. My third wish, I want to be a healthy 150 pounds. With the, and And to permanently stay that way. So I can eat all the fucking garbage I want and not gain an ounce of fat. Mine are pretty much the same as yours, except for the vape one. Hey, oh. hey, you're 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 coming to the dark side soon, though. I did. You're right. You're right. I did buy two vapes. You're right. Why? They were Skittles flavor, and I wanted to get high. Oh shit! Sure. That's oh, the same as okay. mine, actually. Yeah, it's it's weed vape, not like oh, I'm smoking fucking nothing vape. Okay, because I, I I was like, why'd you just buy a regular no. ass vape? But no, if it's, yeah, then that's fine. That's yeah. fine. Yeah, my answer was going to be, you ever heard of the band ABBA? Yes. Uh, yes. Have you heard their hit song, Money, Money, Money? <laughs> yes, yeah. of course. <laughs> that would might be my three mish- <laughs> three wishes. I want infinite money. All right. What else do you want? Infinite money. <laughs> but I just... More. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Two more bank accounts worth. There is not a single problem that I could have that could not be solved. Exactly. What about you, Jordan? I... Okay. Infinite bank account. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I want to be at my physical peak for all my life. <laughs> this is going to sound real stupid. Oh, boy. Make the biometals from Mega Man ZX real. Yo! One. What the fuck? I, I, I mean... was, I'm sorry, I was unaware that you were a man of culture. Okay, Do I like co- Jordan now? Are we friends? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, as cool as that would be, and as as all for that idea as I am, that's... That's... Okay, do you own all of them? Or... Are they, yes. or do, okay. No, he's got to fight the other Mega Men to get them. I get I get one by default, and then I got to fight the others. <sighs> Dude, yeah. you they, yeah. that'd be one awesome. of them's gonna go into the wrong you know what? hands. I didn't say oh, my third I would be wish. the wrong hands. I feel like my third wish would just be to uh you fucking transform. <laughs> fucking henshin, man. Stop okay, I, that's, that's what the like, biometals are. I want I wanna change my, my third wish. Mm-hmm. Fuck the hundred and fifty pounds. I I, w- I want my tooth back. I want my fist. <laughs> I, I wanna I want use you could use money to fix it. I mean, yeah, you yeah could, you but could use that your involves surgery. Money if I just ask a genie to be like, boop, and and there it is, that that be well, so that would much that would be covered under being your perfect physical health. That's right? true. Yeah. No, well, no, I, I I just said weight. Uh, oh, you fair. did say weight. No, no, you know, nothing about like I think teeth. If the genie wasn't one of those genies where it's like, haha, all the wishes are monkey paws. You are cursed by drawbacks. Mm-hmm. I, I'd want the my immortal robot hey. body instead. I, okay. I would go for that instead of fixing a flesh body. The the biometals, except for one going into the wrong hands, is my monkey's paw. Yeah, because then the W model would exist, and that's that's no good for anybody. I'd stop it. I would just stop it. I would just parry. Uh, Voltic EXE asks a simple one: Favorite Digimon. I don't. I don't go to Digimon. I I think we've answered this already. Have we? Well, like one of the earlier podcasts. I don't know. I'm just gonna say Mechanorimon. I love Mechanorimon. Andromon. Fuck! I was actually gonna say Andromon also. Andromon is the best. Hi, Andromon. Yeah, I liked. Uh, I liked Andromon because uh, back in the day, I had a toy. Uh, it, they, the there spiral used to be sword like, toy. 
No, there there used to be Digimon Transformers where oh. you, th- they would like be one w- like their early form and then evolve into the Oh yeah, I had forms. some of those. So I had a Gardramon that would transform into an Andromon. Uh it Sounds awesome. I wish we it was they had it was those. so cool. Like the only I, ones yeah, you could had, get around me were the uh the main character ones. Yeah, I had a couple of the main character ones. I had uh Gray, uh, Agumon and a Greymon, Patamon and an Angemon, uh, Magna Angemon into oh god, what's the fourth uh, form called? Ophanimon, the one that's a fish. No, n- no, not the fish. The the blue angel one. Oh, I was thinking Angel Woman. Got Seraphimon. The Seraphimon. Thank you. Um, yeah. Oh, and I had uh, uh Bergemon into Gargemon. Yeah, Alatos asks, uh, "What Monster Hunter monster would you keep as a, a non-hostile chibi pet?" Uh, right. Which uh, 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 Nargaguga? Nargaguga. <laughs> what's what's its name? Nargaguga. Yeah, there you go. Whatever. Nargagu- whatever. I, I would I would name it Nargaguga. Nargaguga. Whatever. Oh. It's a cat. It's a cat with wings. I'm honestly, I might say Puke Puke. Dumb little lizard you're, bastard. You're, oh, okay. No, no, never mind. I, I was I was thinking of. Uh, no, you're thinking of a uh, fucking chicken feet. I kind of mm-hmm. wanted to say uh, the pickle, but it would be like uh, I don't know if you've ever had a, a pet that just like rips up pillows and shit. Uh huh. Oh, I thought That's you were gonna what the say the pickle would do. I thought you were gonna say it would be like the the cat that ripped open the the automatic dispenser of cat food and just took a giant mouthful of the food. But yes, exactly. It, it would be like one of those destructive pets. Yeah, it would do that except with like your doors and, and shit like that. And then it would just like bounce and dance and be like, oh. How about you, Jordan? Uh, Arzuros. That's a good one. Yeah, the funny bear. Uh, Korak asks a real question. Uh, if you would be a transformer, what would your main vehicle form be? And he said PMs would be a bike. I'm not allowed to have fun yeah. on this podcast. You know what? <laughs> you know what, though? PM would totally be uh, one of the fucking Weird Al Junkatrons, though. The fuck? Uh, that's a good point, yeah. You would totally be a wreck our ass. Yeah, I'm, I, I, I think, like, I would transform into, like, fucking Mater from Cars. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Tow truck, yeah, like a, a like a tires. fucking a, a dirty ass tow gamer truck. Tires. Use code Mater's Goods to check out for gamer tires. I would be a I want I want to be a motorcycle. I want to be a real cool motorcycle. One transforms a jeep. It would be a jeep. You would be a fucking jeep. Fucking you'd, be, you'd be you'd be like a fucking Yaris or a Prius or some <laughs> shit. Tiny little man. I drive a jeep. That's why I said it. Yeah, but your soul is not a jeep. What would you be, Maddie? Okay. I would want to be a train. Yeah, fair. I would probably end up as, uh, like a fucking dump truck or something. I mean, shit. I, I think me, Carl, My and dump Maddie truck could, 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 could fall into the dump truck category. <laughs> Hey guys, we, we actually, would all be the fucking animated uh, series Weird Al one. I love him. No, I I would transform into one of those uh, septic tank trucks that that uh, soak up all uh, the like fucking sewage and shit. Yeah, that's <laughs> so why you I... could still make PFTs. As exactly. A hey guys, I have excellent news. Uh, we finally cleared out all the questions we got from December twelfth, twenty twenty one. Jesus nice. Christ! December twelfth. We now have questions from January second and today. Oh, and January fourth, there was one. All right, let's do some from today, and then we'll fucking end this shit. All right, let's see. Uh, which ones are good from here? I think we answered the one with Isekai with powers and abilities. Yeah. Uh, if you were suddenly transported to a medieval fantasy world, like a Skyrim-esque world, what uh, would your occupation be? Some toxic fungi. I mean, clearly everyone's going to say thief for me, so yeah, fine, I'll go with thief. I mean, I wasn't going to say it out loud, but I mean, if you want to go there. I mean, yeah. uh, honestly, honestly, I'd either be a bartender or a fucking herbalist. I'd love to be a blacksmith. How about you, Medi? Listen, uh, middle of nowhere countryside living above the bar bartender is like, like the dream. 
Also a nightmare because like literally like bandits and all like all sorts of hoodlums and shady shit will just be coming in and out of your bar. Oh yeah. No. That that well, would be why it would be bad, but also um, the question I is if you're it. transported to a medieval fantasy world like Skyrim, what would your occupation be? Yeah. Jester for Jordan. Yeah, that's accurate. No. He's a, a bard. Uh, I'm not I'm not funny enough intentionally to be a jester. <laughs> you'd be a bard, you'd be dancing around you'd be the guy who's like toss a coin to your witcher. I'm not a good singer. Oh yeah, that's still to make it funny. Um, I think I would try to scam some like feudal guy by being like, I am a powerful mage <laughs> turning my phone's flashlight on and off. Nomad, I guess. <laughs> All right, that's fair. There's a hermit in the mountains. Let's see what else we got from today. Uh, if you all were a Power Ranger Sentai team, which member would get which color? That's from Frost Samurai. Hmm. Are we picking colors for each other? What are we doing? I think that's the only fair way to do it. I guess. I'd say Jordan would be green, obviously, because he's a pickle sucker. Um, <laughs> Medi. Medi, I'd say either blue or black, and I'd give uh, red to Carl. Because he's the leader. Wow. All right, color me, Captain. Hmm. I mean, you know what color we're all thinking for you immediately. Purple? I would, I would brown. hope either green or black. Brown. Not brown. <laughs> all right, Not brown. brown. No, you're right. I would, I would say probably black or green for PM. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I'll say, yeah, I'll say black for PM. I'll say yellow for Jordan. Uh, blue for Medi. Why blue? Because you're the gay scientist. Yeah. I don't. I don't want to be a, a pedophile who eats an old lady. No, pick a different blue, what? please. <laughs> oh yeah, you which, didn't hear that happen to Billy. Is that from? Did no, Billy that do... Billy did that shit. Yeah. What the fuck? Oh. Billy tried to eat an old lady. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Oh. And he was oh. caught like grooming kids. Yeah. There's oh. a reason that they don't invite him back for anniversary. Oh, I thought it was just because he was gay. No, no, he said it was because he was gay. Oh. But it, it was because he was doing some fucked up shit. Oh, that oh. sucks. Oh. Well, I take back the blue comment then. I'll say blue, but like a better blue, like a different blue. A blue that isn't him. Yeah, yeah, you're you're the blue from fucking... Actually, no. Actually, no, I changed my answer for Jordan. Jordan is the fucking uh, Blue Ranger from uh, Power Rangers Turbo, where it's just the kid that morphs into a fucking uh, adult. A Shazam? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah that's, I forgot about that. That was awesome. Yeah, that's good. Jordan wasn't alive for that. He was oh, not, God. I oh, hate Oh, God, that. he probably wasn't. What series was that? Uh, Power was Rangers Turbo. Turbo. That was like the third one. That was like the fucking 90s. 97. Yeah. Yep. I was not alive. On oh, my chest. All right, Jordan, color us. Carl would be white. It's got to be white. Many would be, gr many would be green. Um. And PM would be purple. Oh, okay. I'll take purple. I also like purple. What do you got, Medi? Oh, you know, let's let's go with some non-standard colors. All right. PM, you're orange. Oh, come on. I do like orange, like the darker oranges. I'll take that. Uh, Jordan, uh, beige. <laughs> I was actually gonna say gray. Okay. Gray can be cool. It's yeah, you could be yeah. the 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 silver or quantum ranger. No, 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 gray. Well, I mean, gray is basically like silver or quantum. Yeah, but that's the way shiny. They make the suits, yeah, the way they make the suits, they kind of so. shine a little bit. No, 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 just flat gray. Okay. Yeah, Jor Jordan's dull. <laughs> wow. Okay. Carl, you would be the second Red Ranger in a show. Oh, when the first one dies or gets arrested, so they need a replacement. No, 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 the, the first one's still kicking around. Oh, okay. 
so so you're... like Lupin Ranger versus Pato Ranger. I'd be the Pato Ranger Red. No, I don't want to compare you to that. That guy's bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, like uh, like do you remember our version of uh, Time Force? Yes. The, the Quantum Ranger was like, yeah. you all should come work for me, and they were all like, who the fuck? Are you? <laughs> Go <laughs> away. Are you? <laughs> yeah, that. I'm fine with that. I love him. All right, now what or, color uh, would you all give yourselves? Oh, uh, green or purple, or black? I would do orange, blue. I mean, I, I'd I'd kind of want to be silver or something. I, I'd want a shiny suit. If I can't do orange, or maybe then... a maybe a suit with two tones, yeah, red and blue. If I can't be something. orange, then then I want to be uh, I want to be big one. I'm Jack. Carl and Maddie, you, you two That's are good. Toku nerds. Have, yeah. Has there been a Ranger series where there's like multicolored? Like I, I'm red and green, I'm white and pink. Not uh, zero the world. So essentially, oh. uh, that's relegated to special forms like Christmas or. Uh, oh, okay. That one guy is an amalgamation of three colors. Zero yeah. the world. Zero the world. This one, this guy. Uh, Just look at his suit. Yeah. He's black, gray, and orange. Oh, okay. And I forget if uh, it's because he was experimented on and he's three different people combined into one or his robots are or something. Oh, and his mask changes too. Okay. Yeah, yeah it's really cool. Too bad that series sucks. Uh, it was okay. It had a Gokaiger crossover. That's fair, yeah. <laughs> it had a Kamen Rider crossover. It was all right. It wasn't the worst Sentai. The old man made himself a pink suit and called himself Zuo Human. But there's also... a. Uh... Let's see if I can find... God, how do you spell Jack's name? What a bad Sentai name. Now, quick question. What, what Jack color Ace, does Queen the, King. What, what color does the uh, Hamburger Ranger fall under? He's gold. Oh, okay. Gold, yeah. Ah, yes. Party Time Ranger. Yeah. He's, the he's also the ninja great. who does not hide because it's party night. I would also uh, like to just point out the one I mentioned before from Jack Dengekitai. Big one. Ew. He's a white yeah, ranger he's... with a rainbow on him. Oh, I don't like that. He's a white ranger, but he's also a multicolor ranger. Uh, Zen Kaiger. True, yeah. He his is white helmet, and red. His helmet doesn't even look like a helmet. It looks like like they stuffed his head in a bag. It, it looks like one of those inflatable suits. Like a, like the Among Us suit. Oh, yeah. Zen Kaiger looks dope. Okay, I like Zen Kaiger. No, okay. Alrighty. Um, one final question. Yeah, one uh, more. Oh, oh, you want to do one more? Oh yeah, all right. Yeah, one more. What's your question, Jordan? Uh, so Zelkanu asks, uh, what YouTuber would each one of you be able to win in a fist fight? Linkara. <laughs> that's just that was so fast. I feel like that's that's less, that's setting a really low bar for yourself. Or that's you... that's bullying. That's this is sad. You'll be sitting there uh, like Fawful's minion. Then. You'll be like, you want to you want to take a look at this comic book, and you just punch him in the face. You're like, well, why? <laughs> uh, uh, I can. I actually have. I actually have a list. Fawful's Makes minion. The penguin um, noises. You have a. Josh, what do you mean Josh you have a Porter, list? Doug Walker. <laughs> it's like I'm gonna beat the shit out of uh, every YouTuber. <laughs> I mean, Mr. B. <laughs> I feel like for a lot of them, it really wouldn't be hard. I, yeah. I thought. I thought he was gonna say Mr. Bean. <laughs> There's only really two that come to mind. One is like a normie answer. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go with the unconventional answer. Uh, Dave the Usher. <laughs> and and that answer is for nobody except for a select few that know. Uh, please do not look up Dave the Usher. It, you, you will. You, I mean, you, you uh, won't be happy with your results. I, I know that I could beat Scott the Waz in a fight, but I wouldn't want to hurt Scott the Waz. <laughs> He's too pure Power and innocent. Bomb. Power bomb. He'd be like, hey, Carl, Scott here. And I'd knock his fucking glasses into his face. He'd be like, I have a hole now. <laughs> a hole? He's like made of paper. I'd basically go right through him. You want to play my Monopoly? <laughs> you want to play my Monopoly with me? Scott the Waz, if you listen to this, hit me up. Let's play some Monopoly. Let's play some Scott the Monopoly. I hate this. Thank you. I could probably Prince Jontron. Yeah, he's probably already dying from COVID. 
He's still Game making videos, him. apparently. I keep seeing new clips of him pop up, and I'm like, why? All right, Jordan. I don't want this, YouTube. Make it go away. What is what is your fact for us today, Jordan? It's time for a boat fact. The youngest person to sail around the world was Laura Decker. She's a 14-year-old that went off to sail around the world in 2012 and finished her twip. Her twip? Her twip. <laughs> her trip. I'm going on a twip. 518 days later. Ooh, ooh, Mr. Jordan, we going on a twip? That was a good boat fact. That was a pretty good boat fact. I like that okay, one. Okay, Compare to your fucking like, crow's nest from last week. Like, Jesus. What Was she on a boat by herself? I assume not. Because, like, is it really you traveling no, around was. the world Wait. in a boat if someone else is driving the boat? Like, Guys. Uh, we got another question in. Someone sure. asks, well, please tell me what the blue bean room is. You've been blue balling me about that. <laughs> oh, well, the simple thing about <laughs> I... that is... <sighs> oh. All right. You want to know the bean room story? All right. Here it goes. So one time at work... Unfortunately... PM's audio became horribly corrupted at this point, and very little was salvageable. We're sorry for the inconvenience. And, uh, and that's a bean room story. I, I, I know it's not... We, I, I, I built it up a little too much, but, uh, yeah, I, I hope you enjoyed it. I can't believe that guy's not in prison. Yeah, yeah. I, I was surprised when he, when he brought up the part about the plunger. I don't think you could do that with that, but I mean, I'm very resourceful. Fucking crazy. Well, everyone, uh, thank you for listening to another episode of Dipships. Remember that you can catch us on pretty much every platform possible: Podbean, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, other A things. After you're done, Samsung listening, <laughs> After you're done listening to the audio version, check out the YouTube version. It, it's it's usually it, there's usually some more stuff on there. Also, be sure to rate five stars. Could leave comments, like, leave comment, reviews. subscribe, like, comment, so subscribe. Leave a review on the Apple on the Apple Store, like you're like me. Uh, yeah, like this please, fucking cheater. Please Patreon, and don't please. forget. Uh, yeah, don't forget our Patreon, patreoncom slash pod. Yes, and sir, uh, I am hungry. I must don't, eat. Don't forget that podcast sink or swim based on word of mouth. If you think someone will like this podcast, share it with them. Let them know. Uh, kiss your dogs. <laughs> No, no, not like what? that. That's gross. What are you doing? <laughs> this ending sucks. No, stop. No, this is the one I wanted. The monkey's paw is curling. Its fingers are curling. You see, it's a good it thing. It's a good thing we're a boating podcast because we are floundering real hard, especially during the endings. <laughs> yeah, but that's part of the charm. That's why it's funny. I think. I, guess. I hope. Perpetually sinking. Thank you all for listening. We're, and we are not swimming. We're sinking hard. Thank you all How for dare listening. dare you all listen to this shit. And we'll see you all on the nautical mile. Toodles. Bye-bye. You say bye. I'm gonna say bye to these people every fucking week. <laughs>